Hello everybody and welcome back to a follow-on video to our Terra Life Plus overview video that we've recently published. Today we're going to take a little bit deeper dive into the actual feed mixes. So I must admit that when I was learning about Terra Life Plus soon after it released, I was, it was way over my head. I was overwhelmed. I'm still a little bit overwhelmed to be quite frank with you there. But one of the things that really overwhelmed me was the various animal food requirements and the feeding mixes and how many of the feeding mixes there were and the fact that as your animals grew well you had to go through different stages of giving them different types of food so for example here we have our two-month-old heifer calves they're going to require mother's milk milk replacer calf hay or calf feed and while this information down here does help narrow it down a little bit as to what maybe calf feed is or calf hay maybe or milk replacer and where oh where do i even get mother's milk what i was suffering with is aside from typically i feed tmr to cows i'll feed for example pigs i'll just feed them the individual foods as opposed to simply buying pig food and dumping it in and being done with it. So when I was looking at something as complex as, let's say our 30 month old heifer cow, requiring 32% base food, 10% roughage energy, 10% roughage structure, 10% roughage protein, 7.5% cereal mix, 7.5% mineral feed, 5% dairy performance feed, 5% protein cereal, 5% concentrated feed, 5% concentrated feed milk, and 2.5% mineral feed, I was left saying, oh my God, how am I going to keep up with all of this? This is a full-time job. Well, what I didn't really put things together on is that there are mixes that you can make that are going to provide you all of those similar to pig food. When you just feed pig food, it just fills all the bars that you need in the right ratios so that's what we're going to take a look at today is all of the different feed mixes that you can make with your traditional tmr mixer so when we jump in here to our tractor under y we have standard recipe well we can change that and we also now have a simple mixed ration for dairy cows we have mixed ration dairy calves from 10 months or sorry from four months onward but when your cows reach 10 months well you're gonna need to change up the mix and this is again for dairy cattle not beef cattle at 18 months once again you change up the mix and you change the mix up once again at 27 months then you have a completely different mix for hay milk you have a different mix for hay milk during the winter and then we have fattening calves or our beef cattle from four months to 10 months, from 10 months to 18 months, and then from 18 months to 27 months, and 27 months onward. We also have a mixed ration for sheep and goat milk, or maybe we're looking for sheep or goat meat. Well, then we have our fattening mix. We also have a mix for pig feed, and then we're back to our standard mix. So that is a whole lot of mixes, and several of these mixes well, they have a whole lot of different inputs. So this video is gonna run through all of these different mixes and all of these different inputs and basically what goes into each and every input. So with Paralife Plus, we also have added the visibility of being able to see our feed mix outside of the tractor. And I've currently turned that off simply for the sake of the intro. But we'll go ahead and turn that on by hitting Y when we are outside of the mixer tractor. And now we have the information down here in the lower part of the screen. And we can also see that, of course, in the F1 menu. I can also go and change the distance for which this information is displayed by hitting U. So we have here at 5 meters, 10, 15, all the way up to, I believe it said, 60. I'm going to set it to 40. That way I can get a good distance away and then also kind of move up here to the sky where we're going to have 
some good contrast with respect to being able to see this information. So right now we are looking at a standard TMR mix. And you'll see we have four different inputs, but two of those inputs have a minimum of 0%. So consider them completely optional. We don't have to add wheat straw or mineral feed in order to obtain the proper ratio and the proper mix. Now, of course, if we have an abundance of wheat straw, we could add up to 30% in this mix and basically then make less utilization of our silage or our meadow hay, but it's not a hard requirement. Now, as we move down through other mixes, you're gonna see that that percentages, some things will be 0%, some things won't. So if it's not 0%, then it is gonna be a hard requirement in order to reach the proper mix. So for our standard recipe, we're gonna need 20% to 75% of meadow hay. We're gonna need 20% to 75% of silage, zero to 30% of wheat straw, very specific, and zero to 7% of mineral feed. Moving on to our next recipe, which is gonna be simple mixed rations for dairy cows. I gotta really question how simple it is but you'll see how simple this really is as we further progress, because quite frankly, all this requires is three different inputs. All the rest are completely optional. Required inputs include coarse feed energy at 10 to 90%. And the inputs are gonna be either maize silage or silage. Coarse feed protein, again, 10 to 90%. And that's gonna be meadow silage, clover silage, clover grass silage or alfalfa silage. So now we have multiple types of silage being mixed together. Then we have roughage, 10 to 100%. Field grass hay, alfalfa hay, meadow hay, or herb grass hay. Everything else in this listing is optional. Of course, if you have an overabundance of soybean protein grists, well, then you could add it up to 15%, and that would satisfy the cereal protein requirement. And as such, you would be using less of some of the required products. The optional products include horse feed base, which is gonna be zero to 90%. That's gonna be pasture grass silage, herb grass silage, and field grass silage. Moisture feed, zero to 30%, is gonna be carrot pulp silage, potato pulp or potato pulp silage, brewer's grain silage, apple pulp, beet pulp, or carrot pulp. Brewer's grain silage or brewer's grain itself. Mineral feed, zero to 10%. And that's gonna be either mineral feed or duca mineral feed. Now, wherever you see the word duca, that is gonna be a brand of mineral feed or a brand of product they can buy here at the shop. Cereal protein is going to be 0 to 15%. And that's going to be soybeans, soybean protein gris, or white lupine. Molasses, 0 to 12%. Water, 0 to 12%. Fodder straw, 0 to 20%. Wheat straw, oat straw, or barley straw. Cereal energy, 0 to 10%, which is going to be grain gris, CCM, canola gris, duca grain gris, sunflower, gris, or sorghum. Supplementary feed, zero to 10%. Beet pellets, feed lime, or duca beet pellets. And root crops, zero to 20%. Fodder beet cut, sugar beet cut, apple potato cut, parsnip fodder, or parsnip fodder, potato fodder, carrots, carrots, sugar, beet, root, new potato, fodder, beet. So I do struggle with some of these crops and fill types. And I don't know if it's possible. If anyone from Farmers Agency is watching this video, if at all possible, if you could separate these inputs with a comma, that would go light years in helping folks 
figure out what is going on here. I get it. You have made this and all of these inputs are very clear to you. But for others that are working with zero documentation, these are just a whole bunch of words that run together. A comma between each input would go a very, very far way in helping clear some things up. Just saying. Now let's take a look at mixed ration dairy calves for four or from four months to the next age group. And this video ultimately is going to be a reference. By all means, pause this, write all this down, put it in a spreadsheet, do whatever you need so you have this quick reference when you go to play with Terra Life Plus and feed your animals. So for our dairy calves from four months old till 10 months, we're going to need to feed 20% to 75% of calf hay, 20% to 75% of alfalfa hay, herb grass hay or meadow hay, 5 to 30% of grain gris, duca grain gris or sorghum, 5 to 25% of grain gris, CCM, canola gris, duca grain gris, sunflower gris or sorghum, molasses, 5 to 12%. And mineral feed, 5 to 10% mineral feed, feed lime, or duca mineral feed. Now, something to comment on this one is cereal protein and cereal energy appear to both include the same fill types. Sorghum, for example, or grain gris. Could we possibly, when we add, let's say, sorghum to our mixer, do we end up with filling up both of those at the same time? Now, fixed ration, mixed ration for dairy cows at 10 months of age, up to 18 months. Well, we're going to have to change our ratios. Roughage, 15 to 75%. Field grass, sorry, field grass hay, alfalfa hay, meadow hay, or herb grass hay. Coarse feed base, it's going to be silage, pasture grass silage, herb grass silage, or field grass silage. Fodder straw, 10 to 30 percent. Wheat, oat, or barley straw. Water, 5 to 15 percent. Molasses, 1 to 10 percent. Cereal protein, 5 to 30 percent. Grain gris, duca gris, grain gris, or sorghum. Cereal energy, 5 to 25 percent. Grain gris, CCM, canola gris, duca grain gris, sunflower gris, or sorghum. And then mineral feed, 5 to 10% mineral feed, feed lime, or duca mineral feed. Once our dairy cattle reach an age of 18 months, we're going to change our inputs again. This time, we're going to require 10 to 90% of coarse energy feed, which is going to be either maize silage or silage. Coarse feed protein, 10 to 90%, is going to be meadow silage, clover silage, clover grass silage, or alfalfa silage. Coarse feed base, 10 to 90%, is going to be pasture grass silage, herb grass silage, or field grass silage. Moisture feed, 11 to 30%. Carrot pulp, silage, potato pulp, potato pulp silage, brewer's grain silage, apple pulp, beet pulp, carrot pulp, brewer's grain, or brewer's pulp silage, maybe beet pulp silage, maybe, and brewer's grain. Mineral feed, 2 to 10%. Mineral feed, duca mineral feed. Cereal protein, 2 to 15%. Soybeans, protein gris, or white lupine. Molasses, 5 to 12%. Water, 10 to 15%. Roughage, 10 to 90%. Field grass, Field grass hay, sorry, alfalfa hay, meadow hay, or herb grass hay. Fodder straw, wheat, oat, or barley straw. Cereal energy, 5 to 10%. Grain gris, CCM, canola gris, duca grain gris, sunflower gris, or sorghum. Supplementary feed, 5 to 10%. Beet pellets, feed lime, or duca beet pellets. And root crops, we have fodder, beet, Cut sugar beet, cut apple, potato cut fodder, potato fodder, sh beet sugar, 
beet, carrot, new potato, fodder, or carrots. Again, root crops are really, really confusing me at the moment. When our dairy cows reach a ripe old age of 27 months, well, we're going to have to start feeding them old cow food. Let's just call it that. Old cow food, okay? This is going to be for our dairy cattle. 10 to 90% of coarse feed energy. Maize silage or silage. Coarse feed protein. 10 to 90%. Meadow silage, clover silage, clover grass silage, or alfalfa silage. Coarse feed base. Pasture grass silage, herb grass silage, or field grass silage. Moisture feed. 11 to 30%. Carrot pulp silage, potato pulp, potato pulp silage, brewer's grain silage, apple pulp, beet pulp, carrot pulp, beet pulp silage, or brewer's grain. Mineral feed, mineral feed or duca mineral feed, 2 to 11%, 2 to 10%, sorry. Cereal protein, 2 to 15%. Soybeans, protein gris, or white lupine. Molasses, 5 to 12%. Water, 10 to 15 percent. Roughage, 10 to 90 percent. Field grass hay, alfalfa hay, meadow hay, or herb grass hay. Fodder straw, 10 to 20 percent. Wheat, oat, or barley straw. Cereal energy, 5 to 10 percent. Grain grass, CCM, canola grass, duca grain grass, sunflower grass, or sorghum. Supplementary feed, 5 to 10 percent. Beet pellets, feed lime, or duca beet pellets. And then root crops, 10 to 20%. Fodder beet cut, sugar beet cut, apple, potato cut, fodder, potato fodder beet, sugar beet, carrots, new potato fodder or carrots. Now we have mixed ration for hay milk. Roughage, 15 to 90%. Field grass hay, clover grass hay, herb grass hay, alfalfa hay, pasture grass hay, clover hay, or meadow hay. Then the only other requirement is going to be mineral feed, 5 to 15%, mineral feed, feed lime, or duca mineral feed. All the other inputs are optional. Those optional inputs are fodder straw, wheat, oat, or barley straw, 0 to 15%. 0 to 15% on our cereal protein at Tritical, spelt protein gris, or winter rye. Zero energy, 0 to 15%. Grain gris, canola gris, duca grain gris, sunflower gris, or sorghum. Supplementary feed, 0 to 15%. Beet pellets, duca beet pellets. Root crops, 0 to 25%. Fodder beet cut, fodder beet. Let's stop this. Fodder beet, cut fodder beet. Fodder carrots, or carrots. That might be the right mix. Water, 0 to 15%. Now, during the winter, we're going to have to change to a winter hay milk mix. And that winter hay milk mix is going to basically negate all of the optional inputs and make everything mandatory. We have 15 to 75% of roughage. That's going to be field grass hay, clover grass hay, herb grass hay, alfalfa hay, pasture grass hay, clover hay or meadow hay. Our fodder straw is going to be 5 to 15%. Wheat, oat, or barley straw. Our cereal protein, 5 to 15%. Tretical, spelt protein gris or winter rye. Cereal energy, 5 to 15%. Grain gris, canola gris, duca grain gris, sunflower gris, or sorghum. Supplementary feed, 5 to 15%. Beet pellets or duca beet pellets. Mineral feed, 5 to 10%. Mineral feed, feed lime, or duca mineral feed. 5 to 25% root crops in fodder beet cut, fodder beet, fodder carrots, or carrots, and 15 or 5 to 15% in water. Now we do it all over again, but this time for our fattening calves, our beef cattle. So from 4 months to 10 months, we're going to be feeding our beef cattle, calves, calf hay, 20 to 75%, roughage, 
20 to 75 percent which is going to be alfalfa hay herb grass hay or meadow hay cereal protein five to thirty percent grain grist duca grain grist or sorghum cereal energy five to twenty five percent ccm molasses five to twelve percent or mineral feed five to ten percent mineral feed feed lime or duca mineral feed when these beef cattle reach a ripe age of 10 months well we're going to give them a little bit more complex food we're going to give them 10 to 75 percent of roughage which is going to be field grass hay alfalfa hay meadow hay or herb grass hay coarse feed base zero to sixty percent silage pasture grass silage herb grass silage or field grass silage fodder straw so it'll be wheat straw oat straw or barley straw water five to fifteen percent molasses one to ten percent mineral feed five to ten percent mineral feed feed lime or duca mineral feed as we've seen with our dairy calves well when they reach an age of 18 months they get to eat a little bit more complex foods we have coarse feed energy 10 to 90 percent maize silage or silage coarse feed protein 10 to 90 percent meadow silage clover silage clover grass silage or alfalfa silage coarse feed base 10 to 90 percent pasture grass silage herb grass silage or field grass silage moisture feed 11 to 30 percent carrot pulp silage potato pulp potato pulp silage brewer's grain silage apple pulp beet pulp carrot pulp brew beet pulp silage or brewer's grain mineral feed two to ten percent mineral feed or duca mineral feed cereal protein two to fifteen percent soybeans protein gris or white lupine molasses five to twelve percent water ten to fifteen percent roughage ten to ninety percent field grass hay alfalfa hay meadow hay or herb grass hay fodder straw ten to twenty percent wheat oat or barley straw cereal energy five to ten percent Grain gris, CCM, canola gris, duca grain gris, sunflower gris, or sorghum. Supplementary feed, 5 to 10%. Beet pellets, feed lime, or duca beet pellets. And then root crops, 10 to 20%. We have fodder beet cut, sugar beet cut, apples, potato cut fodder, potato fodder, beet, potato fodder, beet, sugar, See, this is where these words do not make sense. Okay, let's roll back. Fodder beet cut, sugar beet cut, apple, potato cut fodder, potato fodder, beet sugar, beet carrots, potato fodder beet, potato beet fodder. I'm sorry. Seriously. These need to be reordered if we can't put commas in. That's that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I can't be the only one that is completely lost with respect to the root crops entry. Just saying. I'm not that big of an idiot. I'm an idiot in lots of things. But I'm not that big of an idiot that I can't figure out how these words go together. I don't think they do. All right. At 27 months, when our beef cattle get a little bit tough, right? Maybe? Well, here we go. They're going to need 10 to 90% coarse feed energy. Maize silage or silage. Coarse feed protein, 10 to 90%. Meadow silage, clover silage, clover grass silage, or alfalfa silage. Coarse feed base, 10 to 90%. Pasture grass silage, herb grass silage, or field grass silage. Moisture feed, 11 to 30%. Carrot pulp silage, potato pulp, potato pulp silage, brewer's grain silage, apple pulp, beet pulp, carrot pulp, beet pulp silage, or brewer's grain. I got that one figured out, but why can't I figure out root crops? I don't know. 2 to 10% mineral feed or duca mineral feed. 2 to 15% soybeans, protein gris, or white lupine. 5 to 12% molasses, 10 to 15% water, 10 to 90% field grass. Hay, alfalfa hay, meadow hay, or herb grass hay. 10 to 20% wheat, oat, or barley straw. 
5 to 10% in grain grist, CCM, canola grist, duca grain grist, sunflower grist, or sorghum. 10%, 5 to 10%, I should say, beet pellets, feed lime, or duca beet pellets. And the bane of my existence, root crops, 10 to 20%, fodder beet cut, sugar beet cut, apple, potato cut, fodder potato, fodder beet, sugar beet, carrots, new potatoes, or new potato fodder or carrots or fodder carrots it's new potatoes and fodder carrots maybe that was right when in doubt pick something that's pick apples sheep and goats well we can have goat milk sheep or we can have fattening sheep and goats so if we're going to be going for milk we're going to want to feed our sheep and goats a mixed ration ration of calf hay 20 to 75%. 20-75% in alfalfa hay, herb grass hay, or meadow hay. 5 to 30% in grain grist, duca grain grist, or sorghum. 5 to 25% in CCM. 5 to 12% in molasses. And 5 to 10% in mineral feed, feed lime, or duca mineral feed. If we're going to fatten our sheep and goats for the meat, well, it's going to be alfalfa hay, 10 to 75%. Sorry, 20 to 75%. Roughage, 20 to 75%. Alfalfa hay, herb grass hay, or meadow hay. Serum protein, 5 to 30%. Grain grist, duca grain grist, or sorghum. 5 to 25% in CCM. 5 to 12% in molasses, and 5 to 10% in mineral feed, feed lime, or duca mineral feed. We're almost done, folks. <laughs> almost done. Ooh, pig food. Thank the Lord, this is a little bit more simple. CCM, optional, 0 to 30%. It's going to be grain grist, CCM, soybeans, canola, duca grain grist, or sorghum. Mineral feed, 10 to 47%. Mineral feed, or duca mineral feed. And 10 to 47%, we have, well, it says molasses, but it really shows potato cut, sugar beet cut, sugar beet, new potatoes, or molasses. And that's your pig food mix. And then when we jump back in, we're back to our standard mix for our cows. And that's the rundown of all the different mixes that you can make in your TMR mixer and how you're going to be able to feed all the different growth stages of your beef cattle, your dairy cattle. I'm at a loss as to what hay milk is. So if anyone wants to clarify that down in the comments below, that would be awesome. But we have hay milk, winter hay milk, and then we have two mixes for our sheep and goats, and then we have a mix for our pigs. Now we also have some complex feed requirements for our horses, which we've run through in the overview video, as well as some more complex feed requirements for our chickens. So we're not making those mixes in the TMR mixer but you're going to have to, I guess, feed those individually. Now, I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments below with Terra Life Plus overall and with the different feed mixes that are available and, quite frankly, if this video helped you in any way. I don't think it made you more confused, but hopefully it did help you in some way. And by all means, pause the video, go back, pause the video, and write down the mixes that way you have a reference besides you while you're trying to play and learn this rather complex add-on to Farming Simulator 22. If you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that like button while you're at it. We're going to have tons of Farm Sim 25 news coming to you in the very near future. And while I hope Farm Sim 25 does bring a new level of realism to the base game, I really hope we're not looking at something as complex as Terra Life Plus because I think that would be a big turnoff for a lot of folks. Until next time, happy farming.